Today we are going to see that how to configure network drive by using group policy. Why do we need to configure network drive by using group policy? Suppose for an example we have one user account or one user he, that user wants to configure or map a single drive that is possible to manually configure a single drive for particular one user or you can say if the customer requirement is to configure shared drive or map shared drive on 10 users desktop or 10 users machine yeah practically that is possible for 10 users we can configure or map shared drive manually but customers requirement is to configure or map shared drive for 500 users or 100 users or 200 users so practically it's not possible to configure manually so in that case what can be done the thing is we can configure a group policy and by using group policy we can map network drive or share drive to the users so we have this server and on this server we are going to create one folder so we have this shared data drive and here we will create one folder called user data so now this folder will be shared with set of users what we will do we will share or we will go to the properties go to the sharing advanced sharing sh click on share this folder and click on apply ok now go to the security tab and assign permissions to whom should have access to this shared folder we will click on add button click on select as principal and here we can select a single user or set of users or if you want to add any particular group that group must be that group must have members of set of users so that that users only will have access to the folder okay so now what i am going to do here i am going to use one user account and going to add that user account to have read and write permission on this folder as well as i'm going to select modify permissions to paul h click on ok button click on apply ok close close the use uh, folder properties now this folder is shared and granted permission or you can say uh, gr gr given read write permission to paul <clears throat> now i have client machine here and uh, who has logged in paul h has logged into this client machine will try to access the path shared path here is a path the server name where that uh, shared folder is shared and this is a shared folder name click on ok button so this folder is accessible because we have given or we can we have granted permission to Paul that is why this path is accessible we can just simply copy go to the computer and click on map network drive what drive name we want to configure we want to configure it Z drive paste the path here paste it and you can select the reconnect at next logon and click on finish now the network drive has been mapped successfully <coughs> so this is how you can configure manually for single user
suppose i want to configure it multiple users as i said you earlier that we have 100 users or 200 users where we want to configure this network drive or we have to map this network drive so we will configure a gpo and in that group pol group policy we will mention that this drive should be mapped to set of users okay so i am going to disconnect this drive now there is no drive configured for this user okay so let's jump to the server how can we create a gpo and configure it just open group policy management console i have a shortcut command to open group policy management console so let's discuss about the user accounts first i am opening active directory users and computers console here we will see that that paul paul user belongs to countries europe this is a child ou of countries europe's ou you can see here paul h is under europe ou so if i want to create a gpo and if i want to map network drive only for europe region i have to create gpo for europe and link it on europe ou only i should not map to any other ou's or parent ou i must map that group policy on europe ou only so let's jump to the group policy management console expand countries select europe ou right click on europe ou create a gpo in this domain and link it here click on this button <clears throat> here you need to mention a group policy name so group policy name would be map z drive we will mention it as a europe region e u r o p europe region click on okay right click on gpo and edit it so here there are two configurations are available computer configuration and user configuration i want to map network drive on users configuration because whenever user logs into another system that network drive should be visible on that system also that is why i am going to configure user conf uh, network map network drive on under user configuration only <coughs> expand preferences expand under user configuration expand preferences windows settings and here you will be able to see drive maps option right click on it click on new mapped drive so here you will be able to see option as a action to update i will keep it as it is update only and here you must enter the path of that shared drive so i need to access that share path here so that i can copy this and paste it under the gpo yeah now reconnect whenever user shut down or power off system and power on again that drive or this drive should be mapped automatically that is why i am going to select reconnect <clears throat> click on reconnect option and here which letter do you want to select for that shared drive i want to configure z drive selected z drive now on for which user accounts if you want to target item level like if you want to configure this gpo or apply this gpo a set of users under the europe ou you can 
specify here so i am going to do that now targeting item to users or groups i want to configure it to users to which user do you want to select uh, apply this gpo i want to apply this gpo to paul click on check names this will resolve yes this is the correct name paul h click on ok button click on ok click on apply and click on ok so now gpo is ready close this gpo editor console and group policy is visible here <clears throat> group policy is already linked this link to this ou so no need to re relink uh, to the ou okay so just double click on this gpo so that you will be able to see what settings we have configured under this gpo so these settings we have configured and you can say item level targeting to users to which user you selected we selected paul h now let's go back to the client machine here we need to execute gp update force command in order to apply that gpo gp update slash force so let it finish once the command executed successfully we will be able to see mapped network drive under the my computer console so now you can you you are not able to see any map network drive in order to apply users policy you need to log off and log re-log in i'm just going to select y so that i can re-log into this system logged off now logging in So now you will be able to see that network drive will be visible under my computers. Here we go. So here we can see that network drive has been mapped for user Paul H. This is how you can configure GPO to map network drive. If you want to configure multiple drives like a I have user data and I want to configure one more drive for app data. For an example, I want I have some data, application data, which uh, I want to share with users or set of users. In that scenario, I can configure a separate drive under the same GPO. You just need to open GPMC console, edit the existing GPO and you can simply create one more shared drive click on edit button go to the preferences windows settings map drive just right click here click on new map drive you can select one more drive here if you configure it here then you will be able to see additional drives mapped on this system so this is it guys so if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, do click on bell icon so that whenever I upload new videos you will be able to receive a notification so please like and subscribe thank you guys thank you for watching video have a nice day